You want to know what one of the most magical times in your life is? The honeymoon. Of course, I'm not talking about the kind of honeymoon you have with your wife or your husband after you get married. That is a magical time too, but what I'm talking about today is the honeymoon you have during type 1 diabetes. There's something called the honeymoon phase. You might have experienced this stuff when you were diagnosed, where um, you first get diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and yet still, despite having type 1 diabetes, you still have a little bit of insulin production left going on in your body. There's still just a few beta cells hanging on your pancreas. Because again, what happens in type 1 diabetes is that it's an autoimmune disease that attacks your beta cells, which make insulin, and your beta cells end up dying out, and boom, suddenly you can't make insulin, boom, suddenly you're a type 1 diabetic. But there is a phase called the honeymoon phase, a sort of a transitional period, where you're just recently diagnosed, you're noticing you need insulin, but you still have some insulin being made in your body by the few remaining beta cells that are still clinging on. What if I told you you could extend that honeymoon period indefinitely? Yes, indefinitely, or at least for a very long time. It turns out you absolutely can. And today, let me talk about how to do that. So it might seem unheard of at first to talk about extending the honeymoon indefinitely. Your doctor might have mentioned the honeymoon phase to you, but told you, yeah, it lasts maybe a few weeks or a few months at most. And for the vast majority of diabetics, this is 100% true. But the thing is, the vast majority of diabetics are not doing what they could do to extend the honeymoon indefinitely. See, the key thing to remember is that it's not just your autoimmune system attacking your beta cells and destroying them. There's a reason those beta cells are dying, and one of them has to do with high blood sugar. It turns out that high blood sugar is also killing those beta cells. And if you can manage to keep that blood sugar at a much more normal level, and by normal, I of course don't mean the ADA standard of normal, which is 170. I mean real normal, as in non-diabetic normal, 80 to 100 kind of range. If you can keep your blood sugars in that kind of range, you can hold on to those remaining beta cells. Now, that might seem impossible, but with a very low-carb diet caught early on, this is 100% achievable, especially for people that are still in their honeymoon phase. Now, this is actually really good news. Why? Because I noticed that when you're in the honeymoon phase, you need less insulin. And not only do you need less insulin, but there also seems to be a bit more forgiveness. Because let's say you miss a meal by a unit, or let's say you forget to dose for a very low-carb meal, sometimes you might just have enough beta cells remaining to take care of that a little bit. A little snack here and there. I noticed that with my coaching clients, for example, the ones that are still in the honeymoon phase, it's a lot easier for them to maintain very good levels of blood sugar, normal range without a lot of effort, with less effort than me, actually, because they're still in the honeymoon phase and because they still have some beta cells, they're able to um, help deal with the highs and lows when you might make a mistake. So it's actually very good to keep that honeymoon extended as long as possible. And you can do it. It is possible. You may have heard that um, diabetics tend to only last for maybe a few weeks or a few months at most. In the honeymoon period and after that they're just fully diabetic no remain beta cells and they're insulin dependent forever and that's true for most diabetics but the thing is most diabetics aren't doing what they could do to extend that honeymoon phase it turns out that one of the main things that keeps beta cells alive is good blood sugar and surprise surprise most type 1 diabetics don't have good blood sugar and they don't have good blood sugar because they don't get the right advice up front now, let's say you did get the right advice up front, or let's say you looked into it. You looked into people like Dr. Bernstein, maybe you saw some of my videos, and you made the plunge into a very low-carb diet with the right kind of technique for managing low-carb with type 1 diabetes. Well, guess what? You might have a very good chance of extending those beta cells that are still left. Now, it's very important if you're trying to extend the honeymoon phase indefinitely to be in the honeymoon phase. You need to do this, you know, very soon after diagnosis maybe just a few days, a few weeks, at most a few months later, right? But if you manage to start early enough, if you manage to start a very low-carb diet and get those blood sugars normalized early enough, then you can actually retain those remaining beta cells. 
Maybe not indefinitely. It doesn't last forever for everyone, right? But you can at least make that honeymoon phase last much longer than you otherwise would have. Instead of it being a few weeks, it might be a few months or a few years, maybe even longer. And there are plenty of examples of this. This isn't just some hokey nonsense. I have clients right now, children, who started a low-carb diet very early on in their diagnosis, within a month. And they are still in the honeymoon phase to this day. And the results are spectacular. It's much easier for them to manage their diabetes because they have that little bit of extra insulin to take care of the little mistakes and the little ups and downs and a little bit of snacks here and there. Their blood sugars are even better than mine, despite having very low experience in managing diabetes because their body is taking care of some of the slack. I want to see that kind of thing happen to all newly diagnosed diabetics, and honestly, I'm convinced that if diabetics were given the right advice, the advice of, you know, good, very low-carb management with the right approach for diabetes using our insulin and the like, the Dr. Bernstein method, essentially, the, what I espouse here. If kids are told that upon diagnosis, then you'd see a lot more kids extend a honeymoon indefinitely, just like some of my coaching clients have. And I've also seen many other people in type 1 grit, many children and many adults, able to extend their honeymoon phase for a much longer period of time, or perhaps indefinitely, by simply doing a low-carb diet the right way early enough and keeping those blood sugars normal as long as possible. Yes, it is possible. You can have an infinite honeymoon. Unfortunately, if you start low-carb too late, it's not going to happen. I didn't start low-carb until 11 years in. I've only been at this for four years now, you know, 15 years diabetic. And it's too late for me. I will never have that honeymoon phase back. You can't get beta cells back once they're lost. But if you can keep those beta cells going through normal blood sugar, through a very low-carb diet that allows you to have normal blood sugar, it is possible. So keep that in mind, everyone. Keep the idea of extending that honeymoon in mind. And if you know any diabetics right now that are newly diagnosed, let them know this information because time is of the essence. If you get them on the right track now, if you start low carb early enough, managing diabetes is so much easier. It is so much easier when you have your body able to do some of the work. Now, there's still some downsides of honeymoon phase, right? Because sometimes insulin production is going to be greater and lesser, and you're going to have times where you need less insulin, you need more insulin. So there are a few hiccups along with it. But in general, on net, managing diabetes is so much easier when you're in the honeymoon phase versus when you have no insulin production left at all. So keep that in mind, everyone, when you're taming type 1, get the word out there and spread the message of taming type 1 the right way so that people, when they're diagnosed, are able to get this information and are able to extend that honeymoon phase forever. Honestly, that's the kind of uh, diabetes that everyone's so experienced. That shouldn't be a rare thing. Let's make that change. Let's make that happen. And it starts by sharing my channel, sharing my page, liking my stuff, and staying in tune for the next one. So that's all for today, everyone. Keep taming that type one. Share the wood on how we truly manage diabetes the right way. And hopefully, you too, or maybe a friend in the future who unfortunately gets diagnosed, will be able to extend that honeymoon phase forever.